We do have a two-hour launch window tonight, but launch is still on track for liftoff at 11.03 p.m. Eastern Time from Space Launch Complex 41 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. There you see on screen. Solar Orbiter will take off on a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. Again, they're poised and nearly fueled, ready for flight. This is an international collaborative mission between the European Space Agency and NASA. The spacecraft has been developed by Airbus Defense and Space. ESA's Engineering and Test Center in the Netherlands is managing the development effort. And the European Space Operations Center in Germany will operate Solar Orbiter after launch. Solar Orbiter's flight will take it to roughly 26 million miles from the Sun, or about 42 million kilometers. That's just over one quarter of the distance from the Sun to the Earth. It will experience sunlight 13 times more intense than we feel here on Earth, and to survive, it is equipped with a heat shield capable of withstanding temperatures over 900 degrees Fahrenheit, or about 500 degrees Celsius. The science to be conducted will range from analyzing solar winds and solar magnetic fields to remote sensing and high-resolution imaging of the sun's atmosphere, the corona, and even solar disks. T minus 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of our solar orbit and international collaboration to give us new images and a better understanding of our life-giving star. And now you control the voice of Patrick Moore, ULA's launch commentator. Now 25 seconds into flight. Chamber pressure on the SRV looks good. It's not bringing parameters on the RD-180. Good report so far. Atlas 5 beginning to pitch over. 35 seconds in. Vehicle is completing the pitch over maneuver. Now 41 seconds into flight. 45 seconds into flight. Everything is looking good. We heard that the RD-180 engine was operational. RD-180 model. throttling down slightly as expected. And engine response looks good. I'm going to pull those engines down for just a little bit as we anticipate max Q. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Our At maximum dynamic pressure is the period of maximum mechanical stress on the rocket because it's reached its highest velocity and resistance created by the Earth's atmosphere. Made it through and they're throttling back up. And standing by for SRB burnout. And we have burnout on the solid rocket booster. Atlas will hold on to the SRB for an additional 47 seconds prior to jettison. They're going to let that thing go at 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Now that 1 minute 45 boost. seconds into flight. RD-180 continues to perform well at full thrust. Pump speeds and injector pressures look good. All right, stand by now for booster jettison. And now coming up on 2 minutes into flight, the Atlas V vehicle now weighs just one half of its liftoff weight. RD-180 throttling RD down slightly as expected, and continues response to continues to look good. And standing by for SRV jettison shortly. Now look to your screen and, we have good and you'll see it. There it goes. Jettison of the solid rocket booster. Atlas V has gone to Q-Alpha limited closed-loop steering. Vehicle body rates look good. Now the next major milestone is now two minutes thirty five seconds into flight at three minutes and twenty five seconds. And the second stage RCS system press valve is opened. System now pressurizing to flight levels. Flying at over five thousand miles per hour. Now three minutes into flight, approximately one minute remaining until Biko. And he's talking about main engine cutoff. One minute. RD-180 continues to look good. At uh, pump speeds and injector pressures look good. Three minutes, fifteen seconds in. All right, about to cut that booster. Vehicle body rates Just look stable. Seconds. Now three minutes, 30 seconds in, 
RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good. And we've begun boost phase chill down. Now throttling to a 4.6G acceleration limit. Boost phase chill down is ended. Standing by for BECO. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff. Cut standing by for stage Atlas set. Centaur separation. And we have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. Standing by for ignition. Next major milestone is the payload fairing. When that comes off, we have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. That payload and fairing. And we have good jettison. indication of payload fairing Coming jettison. Right now. This first burn of today's mission will last approximately eight minutes. And the RCS system is now performing initial firings to warm up the RCS motor catalyst bed. System response looks good. And the Centaur is now 100 miles in altitude, 450 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,800 miles per hour. Five minutes, 10 seconds into flight.